injured all day. I'm getting beat up all day. My lip is busted. Now I'm getting. Now I'm getting choked. Now I'm getting choked by freeze. <laughs> Ninety percent done coming out next year. Assuming it's ultimate form, just like that lady who won a chicken McNuggets in America. We got Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. Now Namco Bandai was keeping this very tightly wrapped. I mean, like when I went to the pre-TGS meeting, it was very, very difficult to get inside. Now we finally get to play. Now we finally get to film, and this is the demo. So what is Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z? Well, expect this. One to eight player, multiplayer, online, super fighting, you know, and then really using every single character plus all the story arcs. And this is probably one of the more robust Dragon Ball games that are coming out. Now this is for the PlayStation 3, and uh, from what I heard, it's just gonna be really fun to be able to play with four of your friends. You're the Earth Defense Force guys, and uh, you know, you're fighting against even from Frieza to Cell, just, and there's a brand new story arc as well. You can see this strange little Anubis looking cat guy. So I'm gonna skip on ahead, there's a story. So right now on this demo, I only have a single mission, and, um, and it's loading, I'm really excited to play this. Now how this game works is that there's apparently there's a lot of things where you can use in terms of powering up, there's a Genki gauge. Uh, there should be a lot more characters, but this is a demo of course, so I don't know, who should I pick? Uh, Krillin, Piccolo, Gohan, Goku, Arno, what do you think? I'll pick Krillin, because he's the underdog. All right, cool. We go like that. There's a lot of costumes you can get as well. Um, oh no, wait, how do I do this? Start, swear, all right, yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, the instructions, lots of controls. Obviously L1 is guard from what I can see. And, uh, or Blocko, <laughs> Blocko, sorry, Gardo. And you can use it with tandem with a bunch of other button commands to do your super moves. So now it's loading. I can't wait to play this. It's been a while since I played a Dragon Ball game. Um, the last one I played, to be honest, was the one for Wii which made no sense, because you had to do all those moves. This one is back to the traditional one. My favorite one really was the Super Nintendo one, the number three one. Wow. The one in the beginning where like Vegeta with the M starts showing up on the screen. That's yeah, so much on the Majin Buu scene. So here we go. They're together. Now the thing is, there's going to be story modes right now, and as you, this is straight up from the original first season, or at least the Vegeta arc. And uh, with this, four players, they've modified it a bit so you can have four players playing together. See, they made these three dudes. I totally forgot their names in a while. And here we go. All right, so you can lock on the enemies. Very fast pace. And I wonder if you go, okay, so you can fly, of course, in Dragon Ball style. And this whole world, I think, is quite open, just like the comics, so you can zoom away. And here we go, we do a key blast. Bardo. And uh, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Oh, okay. So Goku's flying, I'm gonna zoom down. Beat him up, bum, 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 bum. And the combos get a hang of this. Because I know Dragon Ball games, when I first play them, they usually have a nice little learning curve. So as you beat up people, you can do a nice little Genki raise engage right there. And then you can actually change strategy, because now I have a squad of three other players. So with the directional pad, if I press it, you can see that you know this is like three players. That's just the concentrate on one guy who I lock on in. So I'm going to take out the boss. Well, they do that and uh, that's free battle. So it's quite easy, X is to descend, and then square is to ascend, and then you just have triangle, which is really the attack button. But if you press guard, you can do this charge attack, chase up, that's the classic teleport. That's pretty cool, so you zoom up like that, and now I'm getting a little more powerful. Can I do the super move? If I press square and triangle, yes I can, Kamehameha! Ah! And the rocks blow up, that's really cool. This map is quite large, so it's quite fun. I can imagine if it, getting, it gets really hectic later in the future. Uh, the graphics look very sharp. Namco Bandai really has been paying a lot of attention to deal with their anime franchises recently. I mean, from their One Piece to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, to so all those games. And speaking of which, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I did the rest, is gonna have a US and European release by 2013. That's what I heard word on the street. Uh, and that's gonna be really, really exciting. And as we go on, this is looking a lot of fun. I'm gonna spam the crap out of my power attacks. I saw earlier some footage where some guy was playing. He was actually fighting um, the full moon form of Vegeta, and that was pretty cool. So let's see, what other buttons do I have? Charge, uh, okay, that's a small Kamehameha. 
and then let's say area attack. Of course, everyone, okay. Triangle, just a nice physical melee attack. Oh, man. This is going to be a lot of fun with friends. Now, this is a PlayStation 3 exclusive. Um, and uh, it's going to be very popular in the Dragon market. A lot of people are waiting for it right now. And it's, oh, no, my son. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. I mean, this is this looks pretty hype. The graphics are amazing. I wish I could hear the sound, but I'm pretty sure they did re-record the original voice actors, much as they do in the fashion of Namco Bandai with all these new fran uh, old franchises that they're reviving or bringing back out for the game world. And uh, this is something to look forward to. 2014 for the PlayStation 3. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>